Shalom, Shalom. First off, I'm going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Racha HaKadosh, Lalom Yom. We Yahweh be the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the Word, the Close God. And Yahweh Shai be the true name of the Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel, who the Word only called Jesus Christ. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, who will teach you what one of these last days, and who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel, where they conceive the knowledge of the Torah and 100% true. I want to give a strong shalom to the Akim the four corners of the earth, which is worship and sincerity, making a calling, and the lecture shirt, making a body living sacrifice. And also, I want to give a humble citation to the elect of the nation of Israel, who's got to the four corners of the earth, no matter what your outside appearance may be. This is Brother Mashal, come back at you with a quick and trans lesson, a pre camp lesson. Through the spirit of poverty, how about you, my shy, representing the celebration of the millstone? I want to say to Wadi, how about you, my shy, forgive me, spirit, and have the mercy for allowing me to do this lesson. And uh, this, this uh, pre camp lesson will be entitled. Uh, there was a war in heaven. All right, there was a war in heaven. Now, when you look up the uh, the definitions or the usage of the word heaven, there's different uses, right? You have the the, uh, the spirit world, right? You have the spirit world. Uh, you have the, the the earthly heaven, which is a place of rulership, and then you also have the the, the ozone layer, which is the the firmament, which is also called a, a heaven, the waters. All right. Heaven is Shemayim, meaning waters. All right. So, when the scripture says in, uh, in Revelation 12 uh, that there was a war in heaven, now what is that? What is that actually talking about? All right. Now we have to understand what the prophecies tell us is going to happen. Okay. All throughout the scriptures, the prophecies tell us about. Uh, um, you know, Yahweh Shai coming. And, and delivering his people, right? The Lord overcoming his enemies, right? Which are the Israelites' enemies. So with all the the the, um, the precepts dealing with uh, a certain man, which is Yahweh Shai, uh, coming with the clouds of heaven, right? Uh, the scripture is referring to the chariot that says clouds, um, you know, um, as wheel and size of wheels, uh, you know, different things. Okay, but that's how uh, the Lord is returning. Okay, even now, Isaiah 66, right? The Lord will, uh, Lord, uh, will just come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind, right? So, when the scripture said that there was a war in heaven, the Lord is coming back to redeem his people. Right, like it says in Matthew, the first chapter, uh, uh, from from their enemies, man. All right, and this is a place. And this place right here, the, the the ground that we're walking on, is a heaven. Okay, but right now this is our hell. And Yahweh Shai is coming to uh, uh, to to uh, to right the ship. I'm gonna say, all right, to make all things turn all things upside down, man. All right, because right now this place is, is, is all jacked up. So it has to be an a, a intervention. You know, like the, uh, you no, know, the, the, oh, I don't know if they still have those shows, but the, uh, it, it, it was called intervention when people were on like, some type of drugs or something like that or something was wrong and they had to intervene, right? How was Shai's coming to intervene? Because this place is just what is it's just what one big drug addict, man. Alright, and instead of uh uh um put, putting putting this place in rehab, they, they they gotta get put to death, man. Okay, so the Lord is coming with the with the host of heaven, beginning with Michael the Archangel. Alright. And they're coming to, to deliver the children of Israel out of this hell, which is gonna be turned into heaven. Okay? On the earth, heaven just means a place of rulership. All right, so now we, we have the understanding of what the heaven is that there's going to be a war in. Okay, it's going to be, uh, we have other precepts, you know, like the, the uh, in John, right? In John, uh, the scripture talk about um, that, that the, kingdom of, the, the kingdom of heaven suffering violence and the violent taken by force 
All right, and we are the kingdom of heaven. Yahweh Shai said that the kingdom of heaven is within you. That proves that that the kingdom of heaven is, is going to be here on earth. Okay, because like I said, heaven is just means a place of rulership. And, and the Israelites will be next to rule in the kingdom of heaven under Yahweh under Yahweh Yahusha. Alright, so we, what, what, what are we going to see? We're going to see all type of uh, 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 chariots, man. Okay, Esau's chariots versus Yahweh Bashim Yahshai's chariots, man. The chariots of, deli uh, of deliverance. The chariots of, of salvation. And that's going to take place uh, in the midst of World War III. See, it's, this is all a battle, man. This is all a battle of the heavens. Okay, of the earthly heaven, the place of rulership. All right, so this is why the, the scriptures re, uh, refer to the uh, the chariots as, as clouds and things that you see in the sky. Uh, 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 what's, what's it say in the second Ezra's? Um, the 13th chapter about uh, 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 um, uh, Ezra saw uh, a chariot the size of a mountain and he couldn't see where it started or where it be uh, finished. All right, so this, so this is going to be uh, uh, primarily a sky battle. You know, me and my uh, my rib watched uh, uh, Avatar the other day, uh, about a week ago, the second Avatar final. You know, a week ago, two weeks ago, something like that. You know, and uh, well, we didn't finish it, but we started the first one and we went to the second one. Okay, but the first one, it, what 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 uh, you know what was it? You know, it was. You know, um, these these foreign beings against the sky people. Okay? And we are we already know how Esau gets down, but with these uh he gets all these movies from the scriptures, man. Alright, so it's gonna be a, a, a sky battle, man. The, the the chariots of the the heavenly father, Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Okay. Versus the chariots of of, <coughs> of of the Edomites, man. And these elites. And they're going to be up in the sky battling, man. Well, it's not even going to be a battle. Okay, the scripture says that Yahweh Shai is not even going to uh, uh, had uh, not not an instrument of war, but destroyed him by by uh, by his breath, right? In Second Edges, the thirteenth chapter. All right, this is this is going to be a war that's going to be uh, played out uh, primarily in the heavens. In the air. All right. This is why you're gonna have, uh, you know, uh, Trump was talking about when he was a president about a space force and all that. All right, that's what, and that's what these 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 people do, man. They 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 say stuff, they introduce bills, and then they don't implement them for years later. So when Trump said that, what eight, seven, eight years ago, whatever, whenever he was in office. All right, this is this is really coming into fruition right now. All right, this is why the scripture talk about, uh, uh, you know, roughly paraphrasing to look for, from one share from your help coming. Okay, Yahweh Shai is coming uh, in in in, the, in in a in a fathership, man. All right, to, to wreak havoc and bring pain and torment to the to the uh, to the to the Edomites and to the uh, to the nations. So we, so we have to be, uh, that's why uh, we're not going to be able to, uh, you know, um, do much on our own. You know, the Lord's going to put the spirit on us to do certain things. But ultimately, you know, uh, we only going to have a small part, man. Okay? Because we're, we're, we're one third of the Lord's army, right? The other third is the, is, is the, is the armies of heaven. Okay. The scriptures talk about uh, the, the Lord of hosts, meaning in the Hebrew, Yahweh Tazabawah, uh, meaning the Lord of armies, Lord of troops. Okay, so the so the angels are are, are a third of uh, of the Lord's army, and what's the other third? Those nuclear missiles. Read about that in Joel the second chapter. All right, so we're on we're only one third of the equation. Okay, mainly 
uh, you know, the uh, this is gonna be um, with uh, with fuel of fire, man. All right, so all these things, these 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 arrows that are being shot from from the ends of the earth, is all gonna take place uh, uh, all up in the air, man. Okay, these arrows are gonna are gonna go through the firmament uh, up into the uh, ozone layer, out, out of the reach of these uh, sonar and radar uh, te technology, and it's gonna drop like a like a uh, uh, like a like a uh, bat out of hell, man. All right, so we so we gonna uh, you know uh, put our trust in your high bashi mashah because because why? Because King David said, uh, my sword. Uh, my bow shall not save me, right? In the in, in Psalms, why? Because this, this is going to be a primarily uh, uh, a war in 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 the sky. Okay, for that for for uh, for for the uh, for the right to to uh, to live have heaven on earth, man. All right, and we already know that that uh, who's going to prevail. Right, it's not even gonna be a a, a, um, a, a, a a difficult battle, man. You know, like the like uh, like how the Dream Team. I'm a, I don't know if brothers old enough uh, to remember the Dream Team in '90. I believe it was '92, but how the Dream Team was just uh, you know demolishing, you know, uh, you know these other countries. All right, that's how Yahab Bashi is gonna uh, make his return to deliver the children of Israel, man. It's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a um, a flawless victory, like in Mortal Kombat. All right, well, you know, Esau gonna be standing there wobbly a little bit at the end. You know what I'm saying? And hey, hey, then your Howard Shai gonna take a sword out and 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 cut that cut that nigga head off, man. All right, and then it's gonna be time for the for the for the Israelites to reign, reign supreme, a kingdom that will never end. All right, so this is what we're praying for. We're praying for this. For these these prophecies to continue to pop like popcorn, you know, and, and we're gonna keep pushing this word, man, because we almost out of here, man. All right, so hey, Lord willing, us was edifying. I'm gonna give all honor, glory, and infinite worship to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Hakudash Lagum Yah, the Bible of the Apostles and the Elders of Red Millstone. I'm gonna say Kwan Masharala, Mawak Lebaal, Shalom.